Lakeland Cracker Barrel. Yes. It's been a Cracker Barrel. Beat the rush. You'll never see this parking lot <laughs> this empty. <laughs> Look at that. Big candy. Big candy. What you got? Chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Uh huh. You're not gonna make that this week? Yeah, I am. I might do the trio thing. Where's that? The sampler where you get the meatloaf, the. Oh, maybe I'll do this instead. What's that? Tips, tenders, and shrimp flavor. Mm. That sounds good. I haven't tried it before. Oh, okay. I think that's it right there. Okay. Comes with meatloaf, dumplings, mm -hmm. and chicken I don't know maybe it's only on Sunday you'll have to ask her oh maybe it's just dumplings and on Sundays it's on, I don't know we'll see and you're gonna get the tip tenders yeah and shrimp yeah. platter yeah Ooh, I'm gonna get the three mm -hmm. three sampler I don't know if I got the three sample last time. I think last time I got the two sample. I think you got it too. And trust me, I wanted a latte, but I don't want it. Should have got one. Because I cold. I mean, this is the deadest you'll ever see this place. You got that right. <laughs> that is crazy. That's for sure. I'm a corny. Yeah, you're a corny kind of guy. <laughs> you said it, I didn't, but I'll agree with you. you gotta love the corn. I used to love corn. Now you can have the corn. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone's you on them. Yeah. Finally shows you how to play that game. Oh, does it now? Earn peg rewards. Free food, retail. Oh, uh, that's a website, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Who knows? My bad. They got the fireplace going. Yeah. It's nice and cozy in here. <laughs> mm. I'm about ready for Was it that. every time I put the camera on you yawn? Oh no. <laughs> Brain style. Alright, you ready? There you go. Wow. That looks real good. And then you got it with that. Mm -hmm. And that's Mung. Smile. I can't believe it. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. It comes with two sides. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. And I got my meatloaf and dumplings. If you want I some. I need my biscuits. Mm. Mm. 
Got it? Ice cream. Good. Of course, I had to put ketchup. Nice big piece of chicken. I think the last time I got the two. Yeah, you did. This time I got the triple. Okay. I love their biscuit. Gotta love their biscuit. Mm. How's that? I'm surprised you didn't get steak sauce. No. That tastes good right now. You said it has what in it? The steak has been cooked in lemon, garlic, and butter. Oh, it tastes oh so good. You want some dumpling? Oh, okay. You can have some. How are they? They're real good. Yeah, I doubt you're gonna eat all those dumplings. That's a big plate of dumplings. It is. I don't even eat dumplings mm -hmm. other than from here, but that's a nice piece of. This chicken is like the closest to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. Hard to beat this chicken. So I remember when we caught the last of that tail end of that uh, TMZ story. Yeah. It was about people. Christmas shopping for people using AI. Mm -hmm. So I went and I pulled up AI Christmas shopping. Yeah. And sure as heck, a whole bunch of websites. Pop up. I guess what you do is you put the person's name, you put some information about the person, mm -hmm. and the AI will tell you what they like. That's crazy. And what to get them. Okay. Yeah. It literally tells you what that person likes. So you were shopping for some of you know, like when people go Christmas shopping, they say, oh, I don't know what they like. Right. You fill out the information. Wow. And it picks out the top so many gifts. <laughs> All right, you doing okay? Yes, thank you. Mm. How civilized. <laughs> it doesn't even make it personal. It takes the human aspect out of it. Got it best shrimp cook too. This chicken is nice and juicy. I was gonna get a chicken sandwich, a chicken breast sandwich. You were. But then I seen the tree up. Mm. You need another biscuit? No, cook? not right now. That's one. Don't have to tell it. Nope. Is it deveined? I don't know about being deveined. I didn't look at it. <laughs> so that's what I mean, it's taking the human aspects of buying someone for the holiday.
I don't think it guarantees that someone would like what they got. But your chances are better because you're not knowing what to pick for them. Well, at least you have an idea where what to pick. Well, you, I mean, the AI is giving it to you. Right. That's what I'm saying. No. It's going to be a day where the holidays ain't going to mean nothing. Now it's just about buying gifts. And then who knows, that could be used on buying gifts if you're going out on a date. Yeah. You know? Instead of knowing the people that you're going to buy the gifts for, or getting to know them, you have a computer choosing what it deems that that person would like. Hence, the AI is going to be almost on point because it's, as it's, the years go by, it gets better and better. Oh, yeah. And the predictions. Mm -hmm. But it takes the human aspect of it, of getting to know someone. So instead of getting to know someone, people would just type it in. It's like when you used to get people's phone numbers before cell phones, you knew everyone's number or you had a oh, phone yeah. book, you know, mm -hmm. or written down or you knew it. I mean, you knew 7-Eleven's number, yeah. Dunkin' Donuts number. You used to know all those numbers in your head. And then the cell phone took away knowing people's numbers. AI is definitely going to take away knowing a person. Well, well if you don't know your girlfriend, your wife, a friend, a family member, <coughs> then AI is not going to help you out. No, I'm the sorry. AI is helping. Is the the AI will help them out because there's a person by percentages it, depending on the information that they type in and then when it calculates I mean because that's like in baseball and in football they use sort of an AI a metrics yeah to know you know to bring a person in to, to make a play. AI is artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. yeah, I said it's just crazy that people are using it to pick people's presents. I said no one wants to understand each other or take a chance and listen to someone else more worried about themselves because I remember back in the day you used to get Christmas presents where we were like yeah well, yeah and then it came to the point of the gift cards yeah because the gift cards made it easier. Uh -huh. You still doing okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. They made it easier and simpler to choose a gift because you would just give them a gift card uh -huh. or a dinner card. You know, it's another form of not knowing the people okay. you're giving right, gifts yeah. to. And it's a it's a cheaper way to get out of it too, because if you know someone likes something expensive. And Not you so can't much to afford get out of it, but I mean, I'm just gonna buy really quick. 
when we got parents and we're in our 50s, what do you buy somebody who's got everything they could ever need? Oh, yeah. Well, hence gift card or... That's what I'm saying. I mean, you never... You never have enough underwear or socks or t-shirts. True. I know my t-shirts, not shirts. Like my father gets a right. hundred of them every year and he doesn't use <laughs> I'm talking about just regular old t-shirts. Socks or underwear, you, you never run out of those. You need another biscuit? No, not right now. And you know, your kids give you a Christmas list. I mean, if you're close with someone you really know, you have a good friend that you say is a real good friend. You basically know what they like. It's not hard to choose a present or a gift card. No. Because a gift card is like underwear and stuff. Especially for dinner. Where you're trying to save money. Is it good? That it is. But I'm just saying not to have no emotions into it. I mean, not to have no emotion putting it into a gift. It's like I said, it's... You're separating yourself from getting to know people. Yep. <coughs> I mean, not everyone can like everybody. Not everyone likes the same ice cream, not, you know, unless that's what they're trying to perform people to be this happy-go-lucky, you know, you can't have it. Now when you're given free will, that's basically taking your will away from you. Yep. Something that was God given to you, free will. You're gonna let a computer take it away from you and think for you and tell you, you know, because then what's next? AI, I'm sure there's probably AI dating out there. So then, how do you know you're, you know, the AI tells you this is the person you're supposed to be with, but. The old saying was opposites attract. <laughs> True. Right? I'm not saying that, you know, it's not nice to, to be with a person that likes the same things you like, but, you know, then why do they say opposites attract? And have the time you're with somebody, you're not, you're like 50 50. And then when you do things together, then you learn to like things together, you know. Uh-huh. You know, someone didn't like something and they tried it and they wow, I like it. Like, uh, I don't you know, you like skiing or whatever, or hunting or. You don't know if you're liking it until you try it. That's true. You say that a hundred times when I pick on food. You're like, well, you don't know if you like it. You gotta try it. <clears throat> I do say that. You do want a pastel over here, yeah. you guys? But as I said, you know, people are gonna start being, but we won't be around to see that. Thank God.
it's going to be a life where people are just they type in everything. I don't have to necessarily type, you can speak it now. Crazy. Getting full? Yeah. Yeah, but when I seen that with the Christmas thing, I was like, Jesus Christ. This one comes down to that saying, you don't know me. I mean, sometimes you go and get something for me to eat. And then you come back with something. And I'm thinking like, huh? You know, like if I'm thinking of a Big Mac. I come back with a quarter pounder, yeah. <laughs> right. But then all of a sudden I crave a quarter pounder. And you're going to come with a Big Mac. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, look how a lot of women, when they get married or they start dating somebody or living together, what's they living together or married, that they buy the husband's clothes and the kids' clothes. Yeah. A lot of that percentage is because they know what their person they're buying for looks good in. Right. And they kind of know what they would like to be in. Uh -huh. I mean, you hardly see a husband complain unless he's in t-shirt where... You know, like I wear dressy clothes on certain events and everything. Mm -hmm. But someone who just, you know, oh, I gotta wear my Dale Earnhardt shirt all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference. Well, you know not to buy him certain types of clothes. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's all about getting to know somebody, but. It is. Pretty soon they're gonna have that. What type of clothes should I wear? You know, what type of vehicle should I buy? This was on point. I'm surprised you ate it all. I am full. There you are. To the gills. <laughs> and I'm not even I'm not even a fish. I don't know how you're freezing. The fire is on. Oh, it's so cold. It's only 68 out there. Ooh. Should it really over here? I'm stuffy wuffy. <laughs> I'm not stuffed. I'm I'm content. Well, I'm content, but I'm saying like I'm good. I'm good till tomorrow. <laughs> I am. I might fall asleep. You're just one big sleeping bear. <laughs> this makes me want to go to Tennessee, nice and cold. Or Alabama or Georgia. Like Savannah. We should go there. Should. You want to go there this weekend? See if there's a hotel. Chicken dinner, grand boys. We can get them next weekend. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to go to Savannah? See the Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. Let me see what it looks like in hotel, yeah, and then that. I'll let you know. Yeah. This would be perfect to go up there, nice and cold. See the lights. I think the last time we went to Savannah's, we just drove up there and came back. And then the one time we went to Savannah was on Christmas. 
But everything was closed, so we said we'd never do that again. You're right. And we will not. <laughs> Just like I will not go to Augusta on Thanksgiving again either. Nope. No holiday trips. Nope. Everything is closed. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's wait for the bill. I'm waiting. Alrighty, here she comes. How much was everything? The counts are forty-eight dollars. And that's because Oh god. Let's see the candies. Oh, okay. That we got. <laughs> a bit of honey and Mary Jane. Yeah. All right. Until the next one. Let us, yeah. let us know what you think about AI. Yeah.